Alright Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today's plan is to start cleaning up under the engine bay of my 68 Barracuda drag car because I'm going to paint all this purple. Um, I believe at the same time, since my future plan or soon to be future plan or plan sometime in the future, if that makes sense, uh, is to paint the outside of the car too. I'm going to go ahead and paint the cowl and you can see it's pretty ugly um, at the same time. So I got to get in here, grind out stuff like that, get it all patched up. And while I'm doing all this, I want to uh, fix my K member. So my initial plan was go ahead, pop this thing out, cut the brackets off, clean it up real nicely, get it acid vatted, all these steps. And I can do all that, but I don't really have the time. So time is an important thing to me. If I'm working on this car, I'm not uh, actually making any money. So this needs to move very quickly so I can go back to my everyday day job of working on old Mopars. That's why I'm not pulling this K-member. I'm going to leave it in here, and I'm going to take off all the brackets I can, uh, reinforce around the steering box if it looks lo uh, loose or weak or anything, and clean it up in the car. So that will move a lot faster. All my suspension components are new, uh, except for maybe that um, Pittman arm, but it's very nice and tight. So tie rod ends, uh, the bushings in here, everything was new and replaced before I ever got this car, which was mighty nice of them. But before I can do anything, I got to get this other stuff, fuel line, uh, transmission lines, wiring, all the stuff out of the way. So let me knock that out. I may also go ahead and take the hood off um, so I can get more light and be able to spray everything all at once. Let me go to work. I'll bring you back and hopefully by the end of this video, It'll be purple again instead of nasty. Here's where we are. I'm just going to have to kind of tape the fuel line out of the way or wrap it in aluminum foil. I think Colleen Tebow recommended that before when I was painting under the hood of the red car. Um, so I broke my distribution block loose so I can wire tie that to the column. I thought about taking the column out but um, if I do that, then I won't have anything to wire tie that to. I popped a master loose so I can kind of get my gun around a little easier, shoot up through here. So there's the stuff out from the dash. A little weight reduction. I will get my grinder now with a nice wheel on it and take off these brackets. Well, it's a beautiful next day. I got my engine mounts off there. I know it's kind of hard to see with that reflection. A couple of holes here I still need to weld in. I got a ugly plate welded here. Uh, that's probably 3 16 inch. Real thick, thick stuff. Help strengthen that up. I've been talking to Mopar Jeff 604. Um, just about some general swap stuff. And he kind of advised me to, uh, if I could, go ahead and plate back here also. And that will really strengthen that whole system up. Um, mine had a plate from the inside here. I don't know if that was added uh, from the factory or not. It did seem like a little bit thinner metal, maybe eighth inch thick, whatever gauge that is. But I'll put a plate on the front that'll be there longer than the car is. But I'll dress this dress that well down with a flap disc and uh, get those others cleaned up. But while I had some sunshine, I rolled her outside to do some sanding with my DA. Everywhere that's flat is getting sanded with the DA. So I've, I've hit filler in several spots. So whoever painted this car before did probably, I'm assuming, fill over some funky rust spots or something. I'm not really sure, but what I'm trying to do 
you see here where I wiped, all that little texture is still in that clear coat. So this was base and clear, just like I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna knock that texture off. So give this a nice smooth finish. Before I paint this, I've got some uh, Nason epoxy. Uh, I, think, I think they call it full epoxy. And I'm gonna shoot everything under here just with a basically sealer. So thin it out some. I'll tape off my K member because it's gonna get a little different treatment. But uh, if I can get all the stuff here shot up today, that'll be nice. And I probably won't do the cowl just because you really need to take careful attention and sand inside your uh, vent pieces here. So I don't, I, I'm certain I don't have enough time to do that and the rest of this. So I'll probably just make myself a line right past those chippy spots. And then we'll be able to see kind of where the paint, how the paint color changes. But when the rest of the car gets painted later, I, I've got kind of a cool pattern in my mind uh, to shoot that with. So we'll see if that comes to fruition or not. But even if it doesn't, it will, it'll all be purple again. And Mr. Frank Parks will be happy that my cool black stripes will be gone on the back. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. I've got a, I'm gonna DA everywhere that's flat. So most of the inner fender, I hit this with a flap disc to knock off those um, sharp edges so it wouldn't tear my paper up. But I'm sanding everything that's flat with a DA. If I can't get to it with a DA, then I gotta get after it by hand. So I'll do it in a couple stages. Right now I got a piece of uh, 120 on here but uh, fairly rough, but I need that to get that texture out. So I'll do my 120. I may step it up to uh, 220 and probably final sand with 400 or 320 since it's under the hood and it doesn't super matter, but I want it to be well blended. Um, and I'd, I'd like to do my finish sanding wet and it will certainly help under here to get all the any oily residue or anything like that so yeah i'll just bring you along for the journey it's been a fun one so far and here we go spraying the first coat of sealer this is the nason full epoxy stuff so i only had a quart of it around i used just a little bit out of it before um, went ahead and mixed up in the can to get any solids kind of incorporated back in but it laid down pretty nicely. I know this is gonna be caught in kind of an awkward shot and it's awkward for me to shoot because I couldn't access from the very inside there with that K member in place. But I think I got pretty good results. This stuff laid down really nicely. And if you can see some of those, uh, the bare metal spots, this is a DTM primer also. So it's good for that direct to metal. And I was careful to be sure and feather around those spots um, with some 400. And I went ahead and went over everything again with a Scotch Bright, just because some places are very hard to sand on. It took me about, I would say eight hours hand sanding and with the DA plus shooting. So not a terrible um, job and the results from it are much nicer. This is the TCP Global Kit uh, for base. I'll start base up in just a minute. Uh, fairly inexpensive. I think it was around $420 for a gallon of base. Uh, they give you a gallon of reducer even, uh, a gallon of clear, and then a quart of the hardener or activator for the clear. So it gives you plenty of material. What I did with this job, here comes our purple. Um, I went ahead and used some clear that I already had open. If you'll remember, I shot a Honda hood a while back just with some, I think it's Speed Coat brand clear from eBay. And I had good results with it. Like it, it, uh, it made the job look a lot nicer, flowed out well. I didn't have any runs. So I thought with this one, I would reuse that same clear and then save my full gallon for the outside of this car. So keep it, preserve it some in case I end up shooting this in a few months. I wanted to show you my masking tape. You can kind of see on both sides. Uh, I laid my tape down and I didn't really want a hard edge there. So I rolled the tape back from it 
I just made kind of a reverse roll where the uh, adhesion or adhesive part of it, I could stick my paper straight down to it. So it ended up being pretty nice. It, it, you can't, you can only tell the difference in colors there, but it's not a very thick, hard line. And after I shot this base, uh, I rolled it back just a little bit for my second coat of base. And then I uh, shot my clear on top of that. So moving right along, it's like I said, an awkward shot, but getting everything clean and squared and all done up, it, it shot pretty well. The, the paint actually covered in two coats and I just came back by with the flashlight later and double checked, but I didn't have any spots showing through. So it over that light gray primer, it really worked well. And I'll probably end up using that same primer sealer on uh, the outside of the body, any, any spots that I have busting through. You can also see my little patch panels, uh, one for the, the old bulkhead connector, one for the uh, windshield wiper motor, and then one for the blower motor. So now they'll all be kind of blended in. And if I ever did want to add them back to the car, here we go, I switched shots to the clear and I hosed that stuff on. I mean, it, I figured uh, if there was any little runs or something like that, it's un, like I said, under the hood, it's in a race car. So it kind of matters less, but I'm glad I did, man. It, it really, uh, brought that paint to life and as far as I can tell when I rather when I walked away from this job there was no runs so hopefully it's not laying on the floor the next day I've heard horror stories of that but I was pretty pleased with this job I know my regulator and uh, filter there hanging down kind of was cumbersome but I figured I'd go ahead and do a voiceover on this one. Speed it all up some so it's not just so uh, cut and dry as you'd say. We get a pretty good product. Um, I have my headers ordered for this car so they hopefully will be in soon. It said ships in seven to 10 business days and you know how that can be. Uh, coming from TTI. So I'll have a nice, nice spot here to stick those in. You may also see here, I, I masked in front of the uh, radiator support between it and the grill. And then I masked uh, on the front side of the radiator. So I, all that clear and overspray hopefully won't be getting into the back side of my grill. But for a, this was about a day and a half job and I got my K member cleaned up nicely. So I'll get it shot with some, probably some VHT roll bar and chassis black, make it a lot nicer. Get my clear down here. Pretty pleased with the job. And I actually like this color purple better than what was on the car. And since there's, you know, it seems to be 200 different shades of plum crazy purple. Uh, you, you never really know if you're going to get a good match or not. I could have brought the car up to a place and let them shoot it with a camera and got close. But this is probably closer than a lot of those systems could have gotten. I think a, a good guy that can mix paint, you know, a, a Bondo Billy of sorts, could uh, probably do a lot better match job than one of the machines could just with some trial and error because you never know if you if you put if this was sprayed on top of red or silver or dark gray it could have been a different shade also just being aware of that but we're getting close to our finished product here big reveal i appreciate it if you're still watching uh doing a kind of a transformation on this old car and i think it's going to be a lot more presentable this year uh, a lot faster should be and I'm all, I will worry about spraying the outside of the car after I get that engine in and tested some but anyway let's see what she turns out as here 
Well, there it is. Looks a little bit like the last guy who did it. Uh, but I got less trash and I feel good about it. I got my purple down. It's a little bit lighter color. I was gonna pull back here. See if you can see that major difference. It's still a little wet, but that's all right. See that between there and there. That is all right. So I like the paint. It covered pretty well. Uh, that was two and a half coats of base. And then I used that Speedo coat clear that I used before on that little blue car. So this is kind of psychedelic stuff. I know it looks blue or purple there or something, but as you come around, that's what I wanted. It was a little pearlescent in it, but this reminds me more of kind of the new chargers. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching and I'll catch you next time.